Hi everyone, in this tutorial I am going to discuss a very interesting problem, rooting oranges. As usual, in this tutorial, first we will understand the problem statement, then we will discuss how we can approach this problem and finally we will write its Java code. So let's start with the problem statement first. In this problem, we have given an m cross n grid where each cell can have one of the three values and these values are 0, 1, 2. So 0 represent an empty cell, 1 represent a fresh orange and 2 represent a rotten orange and every minute any fresh orange that is 4 directionally adjacent to a rotten orange becomes rotten. We have to return the minimum number of minutes that must elapse until no cell has a fresh orange and if this is impossible return minus 1. For example, so in this grid we have given these three values 0, 1, 2. So the, these empty cell have value 0 and rest these are fresh orange and this cross is a rotten orange its value is 2. So initially we have given this grid. Now at first minute this rotten orange so we can move only in four directions so this four direction upward downward left and right so at first minute this rotten orange can rot only these two oranges so at first minute these two oranges are rotten and after that in next minute so this orange can rot this one and this one and this can rot this one and this is empty so it cannot be rotten so at second minute you can see uh, these oranges are rotten and now after that this orange can rot only this orange and after third minute this orange can rot only uh, this orange so after four four minute all the fresh oranges in this grid are rotten so we have written four now let's uh, see this example. So uh, the grid are 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and 1, 0, 1. So at first minute, this uh, rotten orange can rotate only this orange and 0 represent an empty cell. So it will be 2 and after first minute, this can rotate only this one and this one. So it will be 2 2 and after that this can rot this fresh orange it will be 2 and this can rot this fresh orange it will be 2 but this fresh orange cannot be rotten as this one is the empty cell and this is also an empty cell and we cannot move diagonally only these four directions are allowed so that's why we return minus 1 because uh, on all the fresh oranges are not rotten in this case now consider this case where uh, the grid only have two values which is 0 and 2 so this is the rotten orange and it is the uh, empty cell so this grid does not have any fresh orange so at 0th minute so we return 0 as there are no fresh oranges to rot in this grid so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss how we can solve this problem for solving this problem first thing we want to know is to whether a grid contains any fresh and rotten oranges or not so what i mean is so let's consider this grid and in this grid there is no rotten oranges so we return minus one as it is not possible to rot the oranges present in this grid let's take the second case and in this case so we have given a grid and initially there are two rotten oranges so this one and this one so at first minute both the rotten oranges rot their adjacent fresh oranges so this will rot this ro uh, this will rot uh, this orange and this rotten orange will rot this and this orange so at first minute the grid looks like this and after that these oranges these rotten oranges rot their adjacent fresh oranges and at second minute you can see all the fresh oranges are rotten and after that there are no fresh oranges so we return two so at i mean at 
टू मिनट ऑल दी फ्रेश ऑरेंजेस आर रॉटन टू हैंडल दिस केस वी हैव टू कीप ऑल दी रॉटन ऑरेंजेस एंड इट्स इंडेक्सेस टू प्रोसेस इट सिक्वेंशली एट द सेम मिनट and for storing the indexes of a rotten oranges here i am using queue data structure so what i mean is so let's understand this through an example so initially we have given this grid and in this grid there are two rotten oranges so let me uh, take a queue data structure and let me draw some boxes and so what is what is the index of uh, this cell so this cell is present at 0 through and second column and what is the index of this cell so this cell is present at second uh, second row and zeroth column so now let's take the size of uh, this queue this queue is the size is 2 so we so at first minute all the fresh oranges which is adjacent to these rotten oranges will be rotten so how we can uh, do it programmatically so first we pull uh, this index which represent uh, the index of this cell and then we have to find all the adjacent fresh oranges all the uh, fresh oranges adjacent to this rotten orange and only one fresh orange is uh, adjacent to this uh, rotten orange and uh, this will be rotten at first minute and then we put its index in a queue so its index is zero through and second column so let me put its index and after that i mean no other uh, so after that there is no other fresh oranges uh, which is adjacent to this cell then we move to second record and uh, we pull its index which represent this cell and now for this cell there are two adjacent fresh oranges one is this one and one is this one so at first minute both will be rotten and we put its indexes so one index is uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the second row so this is the first row and zeroth column so we put first row and zeroth column and this is the second row and first column so second row and first column now at first minute this is the snapshot of the grid where we have only three fresh oranges remaining then now we have to at second minute we take these rotten oranges and rot all the fresh oranges which is adjacent to these rotten oranges so first we take this record which represent this one and adjacent to them is this one uh, this fresh orange and this fresh orange so let's rot them and put them in a queue so at second minute this will be rotten which is at index 00 and other one is other one is at index 11 and then we take this record which is at first row and zeroth column this one this one is already rotten and this one is already rotten now let's move to the third record which is at second row and first column and this one is remaining so let's rot them and after once it's rotten let's put its indexes and its indexes second row and second column now you can see after second minute there is no fresh oranges left in this grid so we return to so it will represent all the fresh oranges are rotten at second minute and nothing is left to rot so this is how we can solve this problem and now let's see its java code and let's discuss its time and space complexity let's see the java code of this problem and let's discuss how i have implemented it so let's quickly see this class uh, the class is index which has two attribute row and column so this is used i mean uh, we have declared a queue 
which holds the value of index type so basically index is just uh, the index of a cell i mean which row and column this cell lies in a grid and the other variable is a fresh count which keeps the count of fresh oranges and this variable is used because suppose if the fresh count the count, uh, fresh count of oranges in a grid is zero then we don't have to process anything in a grid so basically uh, this is used to keep track of that so initially we run a loop so we run a loop on on a grid and if we found at any cell if we found a rotten oranges we keep its count in a queue uh, so i mean we put its index in a queue else if the grid uh, consists of a fresh orange whose value is one we increment the count of a uh, fresh oranges fresh count so let's understand this through example so uh, given this grid i mean uh, i have just put this grid here and uh, put its number i mean 0 1 2 so let's start with this uh, step so we first iterate this grid and whenever we found any cell whose value is 2 we put its index in a queue so first we found this cell whose value is 2 so we put its index in a queue which is 0 0 so 0 row and 0 column and when uh, we found a grid whose value is 1 we increment the count of fresh count so here i am uh, taking as f so now when we traverse this grid completely so only one cell we have found whose value is 2 and there are six cell we found whose value is 1 so fresh count is 6 now this is the direction so basically it is the representation of this uh, we can move only in four directions so basically at any point we can increment the row plus one and row minus one column plus one and column minus one so it is the numeric representation of that and uh, let's start uh, let's initially declare the count is zero so basically it denotes the time so we start a loop uh, this loop will run while q is not empty and fresh count is zero so this is what i have told here if there is fresh oranges present in a grid then we can process uh, the grid else there is no need to process so then what we do is so q is not empty and also the fresh count is six so we increment the count so at first minute now we are doing the operation what we are doing so first let's take the q size so q size is one while the size is greater than uh, zero just poll the record so i poll this record so poll zero zero then i have to move in four directions so this is the loop for that i have to move in four directions first i take and i add one so so the value is one so i have to move in move uh, move in this direction so basically what i have to do is first row and zeroth column so i have to take this and here i i am checking whether this is a valid move or not so if row the value of row is less than zero or column the value of column is less than zero or the value of row is greater than equal to grid length or the value of column is greater than equal to the column length or the value of grid so current cell is zero or two then i have to continue it as it's not a valid move else we have rotten this cell uh, we have rotten this orange let's put its value in a in this grid so basically uh, in this queue so basically it is at first row and zeroth column we have uh, rotten this orange and put its value 2 and decrement the fresh orange count then uh, now this is the uh, first direction i mean uh, this is in one direction we move let's see the second direction in this direction we keep the value of row 0 and column 1 so 0th row and first column and again this is a valid move so let's put them 0 and 1 in a queue 
let's rot them and decrement the fresh count 4 now take its third value and this is minus 1 and 0 so we have the coordinate 0 0 in which we are adding minus 1 and 0 so minus 1 0 it's not a valid move so it will continue from this step and again the next one is 0 minus 1 so 0 minus 1 again it's not a valid move uh, uh, and we continue from this step so at first minute we just rot these two oranges now in next iteration again the q is not empty so we just pull this value the q has two values and fresh count is four so we at second minute so increase its count and the q size is q size is two so first we pull this one zero so we pull this value one zero so this one and from there in one zero again we do this operation so we take this let me write it one zero and in this we add one and zero so basically two and zero so second row and zeroth column and now the value is zero so th this condition is true and hence it will continue from this step now take this value which is zero one so let's in one zero let's add zero one so it is one one so first row first column so first row first column let's rot them and let's put them in a queue so first row first column and also decrement the fresh orange count so now we we take this value and in one zero we do this we do zero zero so this is already rotten so it will continue and then we take this 0 minus 1 so we take this 0 minus 1 and in 1 0 so here it is 1 minus 1 so basically this is the first row and minus 1 column so which is not a valid move again we continue from that so in this way again in third minute we take uh, the next rotten oranges and we uh, rot so in this way it will keep continuing and after that we return if if all the oranges are rotten then we return the count count is basically at what minute all the oranges are rotten else we return minus one as it's not possible to rot the oranges so this is the code this is the java implementation of what we uh, the approach we have discussed now let's talk about its time and space complexity so time complexity is big o of uh, m cross n which is m and n is the size of row and column and its space complexity is also big o of m cross n so basically in worst case now suppose or the grid contains all the rotten oranges so we put them in this queue so that's why the time and space complexity is big o of m cross n so that's it for this video tutorial if you know any other approach uh, to solve this problem then let us know through your comment so that other people who are watching this video tutorial gets the benefit from it so that's it for this video tutorial thanks for watching this video tutorial and please don't forget to like and subscribe this channel thank you